Welcome to Garden Plants with Jim Putnam. Let's talk all gold juniper. This is Juniperus conferta, all gold, otherwise known as all gold juniper. This one is a sport of Blue Pacific, which has always been ab absolutely one of my favorite ground cover junipers. I like it much better than Blue Rug or some of the other ground hugging uh, junipers. This sport is unbelievably beautiful with this, all the new growth on it has this really bright gold color toward the center of the plant. It, in the older growth, it's slightly greener. And then in the winter time, it really puts on a, a kind of a kaleidoscope of colors uh, during, during colder months, but it's always beautiful. Uh, again, I think these shore junipers are a bit hardier overall than some of the other ground cover junipers. It's a little bit taller ultimately than like blue rug, which will lay completely flat to the ground. And it gives it some advantage in allowing it to dry out some, which is one of the enemies of these ground cover junipers. They actually get root rot issues and they stay so compact to the ground uh, that they end, up, they end up being their own worst enemies as they establish themselves. But this one, again, allows a little bit of air movement around it, and I think that really helps it. The other thing you'll notice about these in comparison to some other ground cover junipers, it's kind of, a, it's kind of got a light feathery look to it. It just looks, uh, it looks softer uh, to the touch, and it is somewhat softer to the touch uh, than some other uh, junipers as well. These, uh, you know, we're obviously not growing these for flowers, right? Um, they're growing them for the foliage color and the fact that this thing's like a chameleon during the season. It's constantly changing, looks fantastic. Uh, I, you'll see the height listed on these, something like six inches, nine inches tall, something like that. And of course, as wide as you want to let them get. They can get four feet, six feet, eight feet. You know, you can control it, whatever, you know, however wide you want it. These are creeping out on the sidewalk if they creeped out a little bit too far. You know, they can just be cut off whenever. It doesn't, doesn't even really matter. Uh, but I think it ultimately will get a little taller than that. Once they join together like this, they're going to pile on each other a bit and end up, you know, slightly more than a foot tall, something like that. Uh, these are hardy in zone six to nine, so they don't have quite the same cold hardiness as some of the other ground cover juniper options you may have in your area if you're like in zone five. These shore junipers uh, tend to uh, be a little bit less cold hardy, but they they're hardy in every other way. As I mentioned, all gold is a bit of a chameleon and in the winter it's gonna get, pick up oranges, yellows, pinks uh, in, the, in the coloration. All of these colors that this thing does, uh, it would prefer full sun to show the most color off, but I have seen them in park shade conditions and they're fine and they, they're, quite, they're quite bright. As long as they're getting some direct sun and then bright light the rest of the day. They seem to be fine in those conditions. Where are you going to use this thing? Well, uh, obviously it's a great ground cover on a sloped area, uh, you know, a bed edge like we're, like it's being used here where it's softening the edge of a sidewalk. These would work great in containers. F any foundation planting where you needed super low plants, uh, it's going to work great. Rock gardens, uh, places where it's extremely dry, you know, the drought, you know, they have, they're very drought tolerant. And then, of course, you will be thinking about the color, you know, that, that change in colors during the season. You want to make sure you're matching it up with things uh, that it looks good with. I don't know that these Nandinas that these ended up next to, uh, whether this combination is the best. It looks great maybe right this minute, but at times of the year it may change. So you might want to think about that, that probably evergreen green things are probably best planted with it so those things will you know so that evolution of the the foliage color won't end up clashing with something a couple important things you'll want to keep in mind when you're you know looking you know when you're citing these junipers they don't definitely don't want to be in a place that is wet or main you know is is overly moist in any way they they really need well drained soils so slopes are the perfect place for them uh, they're native uh to Japan and in sandier, well-drained soils. So moving them to our clay-based soils here in Raleigh, if you put them in flat spaces, they're probably not gonna perform as well. But any kind of slope is perfect in, you know, again, sun conditions. I fertilize, you know, these types of shrubs once a year with an organic fertilizer, and they may not even need that if they're performing well year to year. They're great for covering a space like this where, you know, you're not going to have to mulch as much. I mean, there's only a few little gaps in here in between these, so you're going to lessen the amount of mulch you're using. 
pruning, you can probably prune these if you get a crazy limb on it 12 months out of the year without really hurting them. Uh, probably the best time of the year, if you're looking for the best time to prune them, is in the late winter, right before they start to, to flush out again. No real pest issues to worry about. They tend to be deer resistant, tend to be rabbit resistant. Doesn't mean that deer won't try something, you know, uh, you know, in a, a desperate deer will try anything, but these types of junipers tend to be resistant to that kind of thing. Overall, just extremely low maintenance and you get a lot of bang for the buck with one of these all gold junipers. They really do show off in the, in the landscape. And every time we see them, they are a standout and a truly a standout. There are two or three places in our neighborhood where these are planted and every time we see them, they just, you know, it'll just kind of blow you away how colorful they actually are. So be on the lookout for all gold junipers for a pop of color in a well-drained space. Thanks for watching.